Hey everybody, I'm here again with another video for y'all, with another reading. And welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Dinesha. I read tarot and oracle cards intuitively or any other type of cards. Welcome to my channel. Again, hopefully you subscribe. If you um, do end up liking this video, this reading, it'll be really wonderful to have you here. Welcome back to everybody who's been around. It's good to have y'all back. Hope everybody is doing great as I always do. Um, so this reading is requested. Um, had a couple of people ask for 18 and plus reading. Didn't say anything specific. So I'm just going to do an 18 and plus reading surrounding uh, your sex life with your future partner, um, a future spouse, future divine counterpart, so may whomever, or maybe even a current person if that if it resonates as such, um, or somebody who you plan on like building a re relationship with. You can already know this person, but I am going to talk in a future sense. Um, but you can take it for whomever. So it can apply to, you know, possibly a crush or something like that. Again, somebody maybe you getting to know. Depends on who watching. You know, take it how it would fit for you and the particular person you watching for. Um, but I will, I will uh, title it like, um, like the the sex life or surrounding the future spouse uh, slash partner. So I'm going to title it that, but it can be for a current person or somebody, you know, somebody you're getting to know, whatever the case may be. Okay. So enough of that. Um, yeah. If you're not 18 years and older, I even want to make it even higher than that because I don't know how I feel about a number with teen behind it doing, <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's still like a, that's a very young age to me. So, but I mean, if you are under the age of 18, Please click off this video now. This won't be the reading for you. If you struggle with or if you have struggled with or have some history of like sexual trauma, abuse or anything like that, I wouldn't want to trigger you. So this is a warning. I will be saying some language here, you know, that will be, you know, sexual. But, you know, I still got to keep it clean for YouTube. So it won't be too bad. So, I mean, you can stick around if you would like. Okay. But I'm just giving you a warning here. Um, so with that being said, let's get into the group selection, okay? So group one is going to be the letter L. This is going to be group one, the letter L. Group two is going to be the letter C. Maybe. If I, I don't want it to like blend in with the card. It probably won't. So I'm going to just put them on top like this. So group 1A or group 2C. Group 3, the letter S. This one might have trouble seeing. Let me see. No, I think it looks fine. Yeah, I think it looks fine. So group one, the letter L, group two, the letter C, group three, the letter S, okay? Um, you can pick more than one group if you would like to. That's completely up to you. But just, you know, keep in mind, this will be a general reading. So not everything will resonate with everybody out there as it is for the collective. Um, don't, you know, take it too serious. Have fun with it. You know, if you resonate with it, you resonate. If you don't, you don't. I'm just looking at the energy surrounding, you know, the sex life, okay? So just, you know, take whatever feels right for you. Leave them other messages to other people. Of course, you know, you don't have to accept none of these messages. You can reject them. And with that being said, uh, we're going to get started with group number one, okay? Hello and welcome to everybody who selected group one. You guys picked the letter L. Okay, so just give me a second. I'm trying to get these cards from out of this box in case I need some additional info. Okay, put that on to the side. Yeah, so you guys picked the letter L. So this can stand for uh, love, loyalty. I mean, it could stand for lust because we are talking about um, 
sexual things. So it can stand for lust, love, loyalty. Maybe it's the first, middle, or last name of you or this person. Could possibly be. It can be the beginning of a word that that you know that that demands your det attention or a word that's been on in your mind. Um, you know, you can think of some words. I mean, it was mainly here for you, to help you with your group selection. Okay, so I'm gonna just sit this here. Hopefully, it doesn't fall. Yeah. It's gonna stay okay, so yeah. If you again, um, if you're not 18 years and older, this won't be the reading for you. Click off now. Also, if you struggle with any, um, if or if you have in the past like been through like some you have some sex, sexual trauma or been through like some sexual abuse, this may be a bit triggering for you with some of the words I may say, but it's not this not gonna be too explicit, y'all, because um, it's still YouTube, so we're just touching on it a little bit, okay? This is not necessarily about the first time. Is more so about um, just what your sex life is going to be like in general. Some, some about uh, the first time may come through, but you know this is just speaking in general. But before we get into that, I'm going to pull one of these animal cards, okay, to see what what your partner will be like, like and like just their overall energy in the bedroom, like what what their energy going to be like, how they are. I feel like this will be a, this a good deck to, to do that, okay? So what group one's partner will be like? You know, we will be like in the bedroom. Like, we're just going to touch on this a little bit. Not too much on this. Give me a card that will describe the energy. We have Lamb. Okay, so let's uh, open the book up to Lamb. That is under Earth Energy. We have peaceful, prophet, patient. Okay. And if you want to give it a pause and read it yourself, you can. The lamb is the barrier of an important message. It content its content contents, excuse me, can only be heard with a deep level of quiet. Ha quiet has been established. When a deep level of quiet has been established. <laughs> Lamb energy is the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes an, a surprising stranger. <clears throat> Though the lamb's message may channel through another person, the wisdom resonates within you. It will repeat and reverberate until you hear, until you listen. Excuse me. Approach this gentle creature with, uh, with utmost patience and. Reverence. Truth is a gift. Sit still, listen, receive. When in balance, knowingness, inner peace. When out of balance, quiet, tibet, concern to bring into balance, meditation, listening. So it seems like they're going to be like a patient lover, you know, a peaceful lover. Um... You know, a very comfortable type of lover. Um, I'm saying like, I'm kind of just getting the energy of, you know, whether it, when it's you or, you know, any other previous partners, they may or may not have had, well, they may have had, they just know what's going to please them. Like they have this inner knowing because they are intuitive. So they're, they're going to be an intuitive lover. If, they, if that makes sense, you know, a peaceful, again, a patient lover, they would be patient with you. That's a strong message coming through here. Cause again, you know, you have patient here. Gentle, like a very gentle lover, not too rough. But also not too gentle. It's like a nice balance. It's like like this buildup almost. If that makes sense. So just touched on that a little bit. Does it make sense, y'all? <laughs> Some of y'all probably like, that don't make sense. But that's kind of what I'm getting. That's, what, that's what's coming through. Okay. 
Oh, interest, oh wait, the lamb, L, lamb. So maybe you, you guys' homework is to look into the lamb animal spirit. Guess if you want to do your own research on it. So I'm going to just put that right there. While we have number six, build strength. Didn't I say building something up? Yeah, an intuitive lover. You can see the eye here. An intuitive lover. Build strength. They're gonna know what's 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 gonna get with how they're gonna know how to get you going to build you up. Number 15 here, connect with your womb. So we have two sixes because five plus one is six. Then you have six, maybe some six house energy coming through here. We have number 26 health checkup. Ain't the sixth house about like health and stuff? We have uh marriage coming through here. Legally bind another L. We have clinging to the past. The master. I got to turn these over because YouTube don't take these cards too well. There's not too much showing on this particular card, so I can leave this one kind of turned over. So this is the King of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. Okay, so these are okay to turn over. We have maybe you and I just belong together. Do you still listen to our favorite songs? <laughs> listen, L, listen, they'll listen to you, listen to what you want. Or they listen to, they, they're going to listen to your body. That's what I'm saying. You two will listen to each other's body. So you'll intuitively know what they want. They'll intuitively know what you want. Because again, they're an intuitive lover. They listen. They're going to enjoy listening. You two will enjoy listening to each other moan. Or like, you know, maybe sounds is coming through. It's songs. You may play like to play music when you guys be, be sexually intimate. Uh, Semi-sex style allowing. I'm getting some messages coming through here. Mercury communication. Yeah, word start. Learning. So it's like every time, you know, building, they're going to learn. You two will learn about each other's body. And then we have camera. Learn from the past. Are you serious? So it's a lot of listening and learning, collecting information, words. So you may like to listen to music um, when you guys are making love. Like, you know, it doesn't matter the type of music. You may enjoy listening or have music on in the background. I'm hearing music playing in the background. I'm hearing motivation by Kayla Rowland. Um, you can do it, I believe in you, baby. Mm -hmm. So maybe you two will motivate each other in the bedroom. Like, it, you guys will be motivation. Like, you know, using that communication saying... You know, maybe they're going to ask you, like, do you like that? Do you like how that feels? Or you two will, like, have a conversation beforehand. Like, let's take it to the beginning. Like, before you guys start to, before you guys be sexual with each other, like, just telling each other what you like or what you would like. And so they're going to listen to that and apply that in the room. Like, you know, uh, or ask you what's okay, what to do. Because I'm seeing with health checkup coming through here. Six, seven, eight. I'm saying with health checkup, but then we had that six house coming through here. I'm saying with health checkup coming through here is that I feel like you guys are the type to where you like, you may be like, I'm not going to sleep with you until we both have gotten tested and we see each other's results so we can go and get tested together. And, you know, because I feel like you're the type, you like, you're the type, like, I'm not, I'm not giving nothing up until I know you clean, whether or not, you know, you saying it, I believe you, but I still just want to be sure. So I want to learn uh, more about, you know, your history, your health history. Maybe they will talk to you about, you know, their past uh, sex life and stuff. And maybe they will tell you about some of the things they can also do. And what, the, what they can do to your body, there's something that's coming through here. And vice versa. Are you like, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to have sex with nobody until we in a committed relationship. Now, for some of you, maybe you won't have sex until you are married to this person. This is confirmation that you will be legally married to this person when you have sex. Or this is the person that you will marry. This is the specific person that's coming to, uh, through 
in the reading the person you're going to marry. So they're going to have this deep connection. Like if you are a woman watching and you have a womb, you have a uterus, they will have, you know, this inner connectedness to your uterus. Okay. Um, connect with the womb. So they will be connected to your womb. Now, also some of you guys will likely have a baby with this person. You know, again, if you are a woman watching for a man or if you're a man watching for a woman, if you resonate with that message, um, this is confirmation. Like you may have a baby with them if, if you resonate with that. So it's confirmation for that. Like they may plant a seed in you or you may plant a seed in them. I feel like there's this energy of waiting um, and being responsible as well. I feel like I get that with the lamb, the marriage card coming through here, the king of pentacles and the queen of swords, being responsible in your sex life. You know what I mean? Like as far as, again, having those uh, checkups and stuff like that, um, just being sure that, you know, you guys are clean. That's what's coming through here. It could be something that, that came through from the past that has you feeling this way. Like, okay, something could have happened in your past to where maybe for some of y'all, I'm not judging nobody on their past or nothing like that. You like, maybe you did catch something in the past or you could, you was at risk of catching something because you found out somebody had something, but you ended up not catching it. Because just because you you lucked up or you use protection, but you found out later, like, wow, that was cool. I got to be careful next time, right? Maybe you did catch something, but it was a curable one. So you're like, I can't let this happen again. So you're like, I, I'm not going to have, I'm not, I don't do the one night stands. I don't, you know, I don't do casual sex. I have to be in a committed relationship with this person or for some of you, you wait until marriage. Some of you guys, maybe you are not that experienced or, you know, you're, you've never actually connected with nobody before so you know you're like it's still i'm gonna be in a committed uh, relationship like you holding back the goodies okay <laughs> that's what i'm saying here with the miser coming through here because <clears throat> that's the four of pentacles like you keep that safeguarded that is something that i mean because that's your temple right you're looking at your body as <clears throat> being your temple okay so let's get into some of the things you may be into like i'm saying here will build strength like Again, you guys are going to build up over time in your sex life. So I feel like you're going to start off like doing some simple stuff. And then over time, you will build up doing more and more different type of things. Um, again, wait, cling to the past, learn from the past. And I also feel as though like you're going to build up the see with each other like, And then you're going to learn from, you know, the past. When you first was started uh, having sex and then you're going to be like, you know what each other wants now, just because you just intuitively learned from the beginning. And so now, you know, as time goes on, you're, you've learned what the body wants, because again, they have that connectedness to your womb or to your, you know, penis or whatever the case may be, you know, to, to that area, uh, to the, what your body wants. Right. So I'm also hearing like some sexual healing as well. Like you guys will have a very a sexual healing. This this stuff will be very healing because of this connectiveness you have with each other. Right. It's like you want to explore each other's body. You guys will always explore each other's body, like explore different stuff or explore like what the body will react to, like learning what the body wants. So each time you guys go to have sex. Is it's gonna be like exploring the body that just to see how it's gonna react. Hey, when I touch it there, or when when I do this, or what I do that, like what you know, just learning from it, right? Capturing those moments, and I feel like every time you you do things like maybe next time we should try this, or maybe we should try this position next time, like just talking about it, or reminiscing, or remember when we did that, and you just laughing about it. Maybe for some of you, even like I feel like with the camera. You know, I'm not judging nobody. Maybe even like recording it a little bit just to have it private for you to have it somewhere locked safe. Um, so you can go back and look with the L, right? You can go back and look and just to see. You want to just see <laughs> yourself in the act. Um, maybe even like pictures or something like that. I don't know what people are into. I, I mean, I, I don't judge nobody, right? Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys are like, you could be, you could be also kind of like shy a little bit or like, not shy, but I'm, you can look at her like she's like being shy, but 
more so like you keeping it safe, you know, you stand it with, you stand it with it, right? You like trying to protect it. And they, and they like, I'm not going to harm you. And you like, we have the queen of swords here. You're like, they're going to be at your feet, this person. Okay. As you, my, your wish is my command. I can, I feel like that's another reason why like patient lover, like they're going to be patient with you because you want to be safe. And so, like, they like, I respect that. I feel like they the same way, too. Like, I respect that they a patient lover, right? I respect that. If you want to wait, I get that, too. I respect that because I see potential with you. I feel like we belong together, right? And, and, and like, waiting till this, this relationship grows, until you build something up, until you plant a seed, grow, grow, and then it's going to be <clears throat> worth the wait until you have sex. You're going to be rewarded, right? And also, I feel like, you know, building strength is like foreplay as well. Just building each other up. So, you two might spend a lot of time in foreplay, doing stuff to just build each other up, to get each other going. They got some people just jump straight into sex. They don't do foreplay at all with you. And that's sometimes is why when you go into it, it fails because you're not ready. Right? So, you want get, to get, get, get each other ready for the penetration or whatever it is you're going to do. Right? So, again, every time you guys go, it's going to be this learning thing about each other's body, right? Muse. It's something about you guys is like being art together. It's like, it's like the art of love. It's like your love. You, when you make love, it's going to be like art almost. Or maybe for some of you, you might even want to see. Like, so maybe you might have like this big mirror or something around to where you can see each other. Maybe it can be on the ceiling. It can be like on the side somewhere to where you want to see the act. You want to see, you want to look and see yourself in the act a little bit, right? Now, be that be recording, having like some type of mirror around, like capturing the moment. And then every time you're going to be like, remember, again, reminiscing, like, remember we did this and that and... Like, I want to go back and look. and Or I want to go back and try this again. You might be like, let's try this. Remember when we tried this? Let's try it again. Let's do this again. All right? So I'm hearing something about an intelligent level. Like, just learning. Again, this queen of swords. Like, the mind. Having this connection to the mind. The thoughts. Thinking, like, I think this will be pleasurable to them. Like, tr ideas, Right? Exchanging ideas. Maybe, again, maybe we should try this. Having this vision, looking, lens, palette. What, what'll taste good, right? What'll feel like, let's just test it out. Let's taste, you know, when you go to t taste, let's try this out. So, just, it's like a learning thing. Some things you may not revisit because it wasn't all that. And then, you know, if you get what I mean. So, again, as this goes on, again, it's healing, this connectedness to each other. It's like you guys' private area is for each other, you know? So, again, this can be with your future husband, spouse, wife. Um, this is just confirmation to a person you'll be with legally. Any other information about the nine of wands? Yes, you guys are very, very guarded. You just don't lay in a bed with just no anybody. That's confirming that. I feel like that because um, some of you, it could be like you just afraid to give it up because you're like, well, maybe once, I'm talking about if you in a good way, you, you'll do that before. You, like, you, you're like, I don't want to get hurt, so I don't want to do nothing until we committed, until things are established because I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to get burned with something. I don't want to catch nothing because that's just, I mean, in the end, that would hurt you, right? The Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah, we got to be in a stable foundation, right? And I, that's, this is confirmation that this is the person you'll marry. Or, like, be with long-term, who you'll be in a long-term commitment with. It's raining out there. Yeah, three of wands. So, it's like they would be patient with you, right? And in the end, it'll be a celebration. And it'll be rewarded. Because in the end, it'll be worth the wait, you are worth the wait because they gonna feel like you belong together. Now, that's beautiful. Like 
so not too explicit y'all but you know you can have some idea about what it's gonna be like okay so let's get some other information here If this loud, I'm sorry about that, y'all. See what other info coming through here for, for group one. I'm gonna pull some more of these. Let me see what we got. Yeah, you're trying to be safe. You're like safe. You're safe with it. You're trying to uh, be safe. We have life well played. Like, it's going to be, it's like well played. So, like, I feel like I'm reading it like, it was worth the wait. It was well played. I'm glad you made me wait because waiting made it better. We have PDA, public display of affection. So, maybe, you know, you guys will be the type of couple that does that. Um, or maybe, you know... If you guys are in public and, you know, one or both of y'all are feeling it or your partner is feeling it, they may, like, may do some type of gesture to get you, like, you know, I want something tonight. You know what I mean? I don't want something. When we get when we get back to the house, I want something. So they may, like, tickle you on the side or, like, rub your leg or something. If y'all out in public or somewhere, you know, doing something. Or, like, if, you know, y'all in the car or something, they may, like, touch you on your leg, kind of put their hands between your legs or something like that. We have, yeah, they're going to know exactly what your body wants. They're going to, because over time, they're going to learn, right? So learning, they're learning, but they know. We have dream connection. So this is a dream connection. This is the connection of your dreams. We have handsome. So, you know, if this... This person will be handsome or you are handsome. We have boxing. So you could kind of see here build strength. You you guys might do stuff like maybe there might be times where you are play fighting and then it leads to in, like sex. So <laughs> you may be playing around and then, you know, that is going to turn you on. Then you gonna, it's going to lead to sex. We have throat shocker. I speak. So again, <clears throat> with the communication, listening, you may like to dirty talk as well. That could be coming through here with mercury. The throat chakra, you know, tell me, you know, like being motivational, you know, like I like it like that, or you know, just motivating, motivating, like oh that that feels good right there, and keep going, you know, things saying stuff like that, or whispering in the ear, and doing those kind of things, you know, yeah, telling a story, story. Again, I feel like telling a story. Tell me what you want. Let's exchange ideas about what we want. Would it bring us pleasure? Yeah, currently studying. studying. So studying each other, learning, right? And then we have short. So one of you may be shorter than the other person. Um, is what I'm getting. Let's see what else we have. We have message. This can also be text messages. Like telling, they may, you know, may have times where they may text you and be like, this is what I want to do to you. And like, you guys may sex or something like that. <laughs> like why, y'all, somebody at work or something or somebody out of town for a little bit or this is what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to tell you a story and a message about how I'm going to make your body feel. And just, you know, that's also helped with building up things. We have well-defined jawline, so somebody can have a well-defined jawline. Then we have polite. So, th see, they're a very polite person. So, they, they're going to be polite about, you know, wanting you wanting to wait. Yeah, gentle, being a gentle lover. Gentle lover, they're polite, they're gentle. Again, the lamb energy coming through here. Anything else, spirit? <clears throat> we have movie lover. <clears throat> Maybe you two may, um, again, maybe you may make your own little movie, right? Anything else? We have hot and cold. I feel like with hot and cold coming through here, 
you guys may... <clears throat> Uh -huh. I'm sorry, y'all. Lord, what is going on with me right now? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Because <clears throat> my throat turned like it closed up. Happens ever because I have every time I be channeling them. But yeah, let me hold on. Let me try to fix this. Hopefully, I didn't mess this up. Okay. Reliable. So this person will be reliable. They're not going get to nothing, get nothing from you and then like bail out. Because they here for a commitment. Remember, you had marriage there. Uh, you had you and me just belong together, so they reliable. You can re you can rely on them actually pleasing you. Is what I'm getting here. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. So I feel like with hot and cold coming through here and short, I feel like. Sometimes you guys will do like quickies and stuff like that. Quickies are when you are when you are in a in a, in a you may climax and then you're gonna stop, you're gonna rest and then you're gonna so you you're gonna be hot and then you're gonna be cold. You're gonna do it and then you're gonna rest. Like for some, they're gonna have some where y'all do two days straight. Y'all might be, you know, doing it and then you're gonna take a break, fall asleep, wake back up, do it again. Fall back to sleep, wake back up, go take a shower together, a bath, come back out, do it again, <laughs> go back to sleep. So you might do stuff like that, especially like if you're away, like having a weekend or something away, or you just, or y'all both, like it depends on your situation, your dynamic or whatever. Somebody, oh, maybe you have a, like some a vacation time off or something. Or they do, it depends on how you resonate with it. Y'all just all day because of just. <laughs> <laughs> that's something that I'm picking up on. They may have times when y'all be like that. So we have 405 here in a O Z M L. I feel like this L word is very strong here. I the L the L word. The um, y'all ever seen that show, The L Word? Word, word. I used to watch that back in the day. <coughs> um, life. Oh, we ain't got no F, but I'm I'm saying life. Spend my spend our life together. Life well played. Um, this L letter is important. So they're gonna be a strong, like they're gonna be loyal to you. Message. This is is gonna this this is meaning like this will mean something mean. You guys hear that rain out there? It could be something about the jaw. Like maybe they, uh, I don't know. Like I'm getting something like like a chin. Like they maybe somebody likes to suck somebody's chin. Like when you're kissing, like you may suck the chin or something like that. Jan. Maybe something about the month of January. Just have some random stuff coming through here. Jacking off. Like, you know, that can go in foreplay. Like, you know, jacking somebody off. Or they eat jacking off. Or, you know, because of masturbation. That can be a part of foreplay as well. Like, watching each other do that. Or, like playing with each other's private area like that could be a part of the getting each other riled up okay so you guys can try to come up with something with these letters but that is all i have for everyone who selected group one thank you guys for watching if you did, in fact, like the reading, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That will be very much appreciated. Of course, you know, if you would like a private reading from me, my email is in the description. 
And if, you know, this group did not resonate, you are welcome to pick a different group. Or if you want to hear another message, you can. Another little sexual message, you can. And until next time, beautiful people, bye-bye. Hello and welcome to everybody who selected group two. This will be y'all reading. Um, we'll see what the, the sexual messages or sexual messages around you and your future partner, spouse, or person you currently be with. You know, a current a person you're currently with depends on how you resonate. If you're not 18 years and older, it's not the reading for you, so you might as well click off now. Um, if you have a history of like sexual abuse, trauma, anything like this, you know, I may say some things that may be triggering, so this is a warning, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm not going to be too explicit here on YouTube, though, because I got to be, you know, safe, you know what I mean, okay? So I don't want to be demonetized or, you know. So, first thing we're going to do is see what type of lover they are in the bedroom, Okay, your uh, person, just, just a little bit. We're not going to spend too much time on this just to see what the energy will be like in a bedroom. Oh, you guys picked the letter C. This can stand for um, somebody's first, middle, or last name. It can be a word that's been in your mind or something like that. Uh, this can mean cuddles. It can mean, it can mean coochie, you know what I mean? It can mean coochie or, you know, some people, when they talk about a vagina, some, some people call it a cat. Or they, they they mostly use it with the letter K, though, um, when they say, when they say cat, but, you know, it stands for the animal, the animal cat. Uh, <laughs> um, cool. You know, any this was mainly here for you to help make your group selection. You can think of some words. You know. But yeah. So let's see. What type of lover would they be? We have the uh the dolphin. Okay. So let's take a look at the dolphin. This is underwater. The under the water element, of course, right? Where are you, Dolphin? I, I almost want to say Mr. Dolphin. I'm not sure why I want to say Mr. Dolphin, but... Okay, so if you want to give it a read yourself, you can give it a pause. Some of y'all probably had his dick, so if you already know. Innately intelligent healer, light, blessings. The gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp. Dolphin personalities are often drawn to healing arts as they are sensitive to subtype, the sub, and y'all work on the level of spirit. It's easy for the dolphins types to underestimate the impact 
they make in the world. These creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma. They come in that coming into contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. This card can also indicate a profound blessing is on the way when in balance and active healer, strong spiritual practice. When out of balance, underestimates an own power to bring into balance like-minded spirits. So I kind of feel like this person is just like you when it comes to, you know, they gonna they 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 are your they're your type of lover. Like you two make love the same way. So it, I don't know. Like you two will be into the same type of stuff, whether or not you've tried something before or not. It's like you two will enjoy the same thing. So this is like the same lover as you. Um, they gonna know what they doing. Because it said innately intelligent. Um, they're just naturally a good lover. They just naturally will be able to please you. They're a lover. They have a light radiating from them. Could be like another group, like healing. Like they are, their, their love is quite healing. That's something that I'm picking up on. Um, I'm seeing sensitive here. Because, you know, they have this spiritual energy. It could be like you guys have a spiritual connection as well. So it's like your love is spiritual. So you guys will connect the letter C again. There, there's going to be this instant connection. They may be a very deep lover. Maybe the dolphin, like, they may be a very, I don't know, I'm getting laughter playfulness with the dolphin as well kind of the energy I like to play around it's like it's different from the other google it's like they like to play around hmm again a like-minded spirit so you guys are like have this like-mindedness when it comes to like making love and stuff let me put this here okay so let's see we have <clears throat> Number 19, deep breathing. 28, intuition. That's good. Aromatherapy, number three. So maybe you guys may incorporate aromatherapy, some oils and stuff in it. Uh, harmony here. Oh, wow, they got another dog. I promise on him. You seen me shuffle this out. And then you have some dolphins here. So your homework is to look into the dolphin. You know, go to a search engine and look into the dolphin spirit. We have the fool. Wow, you got the fool again. Wow. I promise I don't be knowing what's up under here. We have the three of pentacles. I feel like, again, this like-mindedness here, like, you two will be into the same stuff. With, you know, something like that is what's coming through here. We have our connection goes beyond the physical realm. This is a spiritual connection. We have, if you keep this up, I'll make my move. Love the way you tease me. Wow, there's going to be a lot of teasing here with y'all. Wow, we have the fifth house passion. Are you serious? Play. Did I not just say that about like playing around? Then you have the full like this playful, like this youth type of energy, like this youthfulness, the seventh house. And then we have passion again, y'all. I put this on everything I love. May this channel be removed from YouTube now if I'm lying. Okay? They make they could take this uh, channel down if I'm lying. If this channel be taken down, then I was lying, right? I did not know what was up under here. So when they, they got a message, Spirit want, is going to have a message come out. Okay, so you guys, a lot of synchronicities here. Um, 
you guys may have had like connected, you know, in a dream here before. Like maybe you have may have had like a sexual dream and you may actually connect through the dream with this person. Like it was a lucid dream or maybe even uh, in the 5D or something. It, it was very, it, you guys passionately connect or, you know, when you guys go to have sex, because we're talking about your sex life in general, it's 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 very deep you know i i said something about a deep lover and then the word deep came through here i believe i said that when i was talking about the dolphin before i pulled these cards over so it's gonna almost be like you are and i don't know i might have said this before in the reading that i've did in the past you it's like an out-of-body experience when you but not an out-of-body experience or it's like you guys are shifting like when you guys connect sexually, you're shifting out of the 3D. It's like you guys are leaving your bodies in a way. Or at least your higher selves are at work, you know? Because it is you two will have insane chemistry. You can sit here with the passion. The chemistry between y'all will be pop having fun, having a good time, the full having fun, taking risks, right? Trying new things. I feel like also some role playing is coming through here because we have some costumes, teasing coming through here. Because again, um, if you keep this up, I'll make my move. Love the way you tease me. So maybe you might dance for them or something, or vice versa. Put in a put it on a costume with the C, right? You know what I mean? Putting on a costume, like performing for each other, putting on a little show, right? Performance. But it's also going to be entertaining, like a costume, right? Costume is here, right? Is here. And I see laughter. That, that That's like the overall energy of y'all yeah, sex life. It's like, it's never, you guys are always going to have fun when you, your sex life is not going to be boring at all. Like you will never get bored because you always... You know, trying different new things to where it's not boring or like doing fun little things. So it's going to be very highly pleasurable. I sense you guys like giggling, you know, as you're doing, you know, doing some things here, you know. Um, again, some remote aroma therapy coming through here. Like maybe you may include that in, in, in your sex life as well. You see that intuition, that, that connection you'll have, right? The dolphin, remember the dolphin is, um, the, 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 the gifts of the dolphin are beyond. See, you have beyond twice. I look at key words too, beyond. Like this is beyond the physical, this, this, your sex life is beyond, you know, but again, the, the the dolphin are beyond what a human mind can grasp. Look, our connection goes beyond the physical realm. That's the same thing. That's basically the same thing. Connection, right? So this 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 relationship and the sex your sex is like beyond what your minds can grasp because it's like you're coming out of the body in a way. If you get what I'm saying, that's what it's going to feel like. Companionship. This definitely could be the person you'll marry or you, you'll have this long-term commitment with because that's what this video is. So, again, this is like equalness here. Like, balance, having like-mindedness, like, into the same stuff. You have When you have multiple twice synchronicities, that's confirmed. Like, you guys will be into the same type of stuff. The ten of, You will be in harmony, right? You will be in balance. That's the Ten of Cups as well. I sense a lot of, you. we have deep breathing. So it's going to be like, your breath is going to be, you're going to be deeply breathing to where, again, it's putting you in a meditative state almost, right? And the dolphin, remember, the dolphin is underwater. So water is very, very intuitive. Water is very spiritual. Water is very in tune, right? So you'll be in tune with each other. That's why they have so many matching cards, so many synchronicities. That's why you have dreams. It's, it's almost like it's, it's going to be dreamy as well. 
especially that first time, is going to be something that's kind of out of this world. And, but that's going to be every time you guys connect. Be, and the passion, again, is insane because you have that twice. So it's pleasurable. And I sent somebody putting on a little dance show for, for one of the, the people, you know. I hope you tune on. Because, see, it's not really showing too much on these cards. Because I can't really show too much with these cards. So that's why I really got them blocked. But they may like when you tease them. But you guys might like to tease each other a lot. I don't know. Maybe they may be sitting down or something like that. You may walk up in there with a with something sexy on or something like that, just trying to see if you can get them going or vice versa. They may might do something to try to get you going or something. Like, try to you know. You guys might even like take risk, you know, with the fool. The fool takes risk, like take ri risky, like you know, let's leave the blinds open or something like that. Let's leave the window open and see for if somebody walk past. Just taking that risk, even though you're not sure if somebody gonna walk past and see y'all, but you might just leave it, just leave the window open, or maybe I leave a I leave like the screen on the window open, so you know when you guys are making noise, maybe somebody might hear it. And that kind of bring brings you pleasure because the thought of somebody hearing it. But that's not gonna be for some of everybody. That's not for everybody. Some of y'all like, nah, I'm not into that. But then you may laugh because it's funny to you. You know, y'all y'all may find it funny or like the fear of the fear, the excitement of getting caught. So maybe you might do something outside. I mean, I don't know how you feel about that. Or maybe like in a car or something. In a bathroom somewhere. Now, some people may think that's unsanitary, but hey, I'm not here to judge people. You know, I understand what you're saying. If you're like, okay, that's unsanitary, especially given <laughs> what we've been through in the last four years, you know, with, <laughs> but I'm just telling you what's coming through. That's what I'm picking up on, right? So maybe you may, maybe y'all gonna be at like at a restaurant and then you're like, you know, let's just go. Let's just go in the bathroom and do something like that. You know what I mean? So you're taking a risk. Either one of y'all going to, both of y'all going to go in the men's bathroom or both of y'all going to go in the women's bathroom or something. You know? Or, I don't know. I'm here, I'm mentioning, I'm here like a museum or something. Like maybe they, you may be at a museum or something like that. And you may see a type of, some type of artwork that may get you going or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it might be like a sex museum or something like that. And then y'all like, you know what? Y'all go to the bathroom and, you know, and do some things. I don't know. Or go on the side somewhere. Or maybe on the side. I don't, again, that's, I'm just telling you what's coming through the energy that I'm picking up on. Some of y'all may not be into that, but you only live once, right? So, that's what I'm saying here. Hold on, let me look something up real quick, y'all, because just before I say something, because I want to be sure. But yeah, you know, maybe, you know, massages. You guys may include like or maybe you might do like a massage. One of the the uh, you know with the role play or something like somebody might be a masseuse or masseur. You know I think is it a masseur for like a man or um, you know but you know somebody can be a masseuse. You might do different type of role playing like putting on certain costumes or something like that and doing all that type of stuff like fun type of things. Because that's what you're going to be into. I'm, again, I'm not here to judge people. I'm just telling you what's coming through here. You might do incorporate that type of stuff in y'all sexual life. And you're going to like it because you two will be in harmony with each other. So it's going to be fun. It makes it it makes it makes exciting. It, it, keeps your, it keeps it fresh. You know, and trying those new things with the fool coming through here twice. Taking risks. Doing these type of things. It keeps the passion there as well, right? So deep passion, connectedness. 
this your best friend too. Not only your lover, but your best friend. And that's why, because you two are friends. We have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Coming through here. Absolutely. The King of Cups. So you have the King of Cups, the Queen of Wands. So you have that passion and you also have that spiritual connection. You have the fire and you have the water. So you have the Queen of Wands, the King of Cups. Page of Wands, yeah, trying exciting new things, right? It'll be exciting, fun. You'll have that fire, but also you'll have those emotions too, right? The Seven of Cups, dreamy. Dreams again, right? Some of you guys might even be like, you know what? I had a dream. Or like, of course, you two will be aware of your 5D connection. Uh, when you guys connect in your dreams, let's do what we did in the dream together, right? Or uh, maybe you had a dream, a certain dream. You like, I want to try this. So I had this dream where I did this and this with this, with this person or whatever. I want to try this, and vice versa. They may be like, you know what? Let's try this from my dream. And then we have the four of wands confirmation. Yeah. This this is you guys are like the perfect match. We have the nine of swords under here. I'm hearing we be all night. Love. I'm hearing drunk and love. Yeah, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing, like, yeah, you're going to be grinding. Like, remember, they were like, surfboard, surfboard, grinding on that wood, grinding, grinding on that wood. Yeah, so some of y'all going to be grinding on that wood, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, they going to be grinding on your wood. I, I don't know, but that's what I'm hearing, okay? Because the king of water. Deep breathing. Again, water, the king of water, dolphin. So it's like your lover is the king of water. I feel like with the queen of wands coming through here, that's like the teasing. Tease me. I'm hearing touch me, tease me. The six of cups here at the bottom of the deck. The you like the the it'll be fun. Not just for the sound of will, but see there's love here. This is a spiritual connection for sure. That's why it's like a it's, it's an energetic match. Not just a physical match, but an energetic match. Four of Wands here, right? They be saying like that be 11 11, so. Let's get some extra info here, okay? Oh, wow. You can see exciting immediately. I'm going to pull some more. Let me get this. Do this loud. I'm sorry, y'all.
I always say that when I pull these. Well, you know, it is kind of loud when I shake that. Maybe they might want you to shake that, like shake that ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, that teasing. I don't know, some of y'all going to be twerking for somebody or like whining, whatever you're going to be doing, okay? Tonight I'm going to dance for you. That's what I'm hearing. Tonight I'm going to put my money on your body. Mm, the way you watch me. Tonight is going down. I mean, yeah, all right. <laughs> Let me stop playing. All right. So we have responsibility. It's my responsibility to make you feel good. We have opposites attract. So I feel like you guys are opposite, but at the same time, you're the same at the core, which is why you're like-minded, uh, like kindred spirits, like spirit of like what it said here, like-minded spirits, um, because we have the king, queen of wands and the king of cups, right? So that's opposites, right? So opposites attract. This person can be completely opposite from you, but at the same time, again, y'all core at the core the same. So it, it'll be natural. You'll want the same thing sexually, right? So again, it's going to be very exciting trying new things. We have number 37. Could be an age. You can add these up together. 7, 8, 9, 10. Completion, precious. Precious. It'll be precious. Love it. You'll love it. What this is? Service. They want to be of service to, e to you. You two will serve each other. Look at this sticker coming up. Seriously? <laughs> when you try to be decorative... <laughs> We have Libra, September 23rd through October 22nd. Those dates can be important from September 23rd through October 22nd. Or somebody can be a Libra here. Or again, balance. Libra is balance, right? Libra, the seventh house, balance. Libra is associated with partnership, right? Connections. We have talkative. So maybe you might be talkative doing that. Libra is an air sign. We have conventionally attractive. So, you know, one of you could be conventionally attractive or something like that. Or just some messages coming through here. Talkative. Maybe you may be talkative or just like very loud doing. Uh, you know, you guys may be very loud vocal. You know, this can be coming through as that. We have kind of shy. Somebody's kind of shy here, though. Maybe you, maybe them. We have outdoors. Yeah, remember, you might take those risks, which is interesting because, again, remember when I was saying that? And, you know, they outdoors, and you can see them walking past, right? Outdoors, you may do some things outdoors. You know, taking that risk. You guys might be kind of shy, but with this person, you'll be more open. This will be magical. What else we have? Anything else? Any other messages here? We have kisses and hugs, absolutely. Cuddling, kisses and hugs. 10-10. Ten, ten. Yeah, we had a lot of 10s coming through here for you as well, so that can be important. We have dark brown hair. We have familiar. So maybe when you, this can be a past life connection as well because you, this is a, a spiritual union. And so connecting with them is not going to feel foreign. It'll feel familiar. This could, something can be intimidating. Somebody can be quite more confident than the other person. The other person kind of shy. And so that's why maybe you will have to talk about something here. Maybe it's because how attractive the other person is. Yeah, again, with passionate coming through here, there'll be a lot of passion. We have, I can't wait. Can't wait to connect with you. We have the, the heart is here. I love Absolutely. This is also love here. We have open-minded to new things. And then we have has a bit of fame. So maybe, you know, this person be like, you know, a lot of people are, are you or them, it could be both of y'all. Might be a lot of people say I'm good at it. Like they may tell you like when y'all talking about, I don't know. Like you may be talking about some sexual stuff and they be like, well, you know, the ladies are the men. People say 
that I'm I'm good at what I do. Like they may be like a little bit of braggy with which might kinda intimidate you a little bit, which is why intimidating coming through here, maybe because of their attractiveness, um, or because of, you know, I don't know, something like that. So it may be kinda intimidating at first. Yeah, somebody is impatient. We have lots of sun hot. Yes, it'll be a lot of passion here. Popsicle lover. This can be coming through here as, you know, the sucking, right? <laughs> right? They probably look, if this a man, or if you a man, maybe you like to have your suck, or they like to have they, you know, they might like that, okay? Now, whether you do that or not, that's on you, but I'm just telling you what's coming through here. We have Cupid's arrow here. Absolutely. Three, three, three. One, one, one. And we have condo. Interesting, you had a C. So maybe, you know, you guys might live in a condo or maybe when you first, like, somebody lives in a, it might be in, like, a condo or something. Let's get a few more. This one had a lot. They may love to see you in the color black or, like, when you guys go to, like, dress up or something, black or lingerie. We have slim. Home, yeah, familiar, and we have difference. There is a strong difference between y'all. So let's see what's coming through here with the letters. Yeah, we got another, we got 10 coming through here again. The number 10 could be very important for y'all, or maybe even a number one. But number 10 is strong, like this completion. 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles. Something about somebody being dainty. I want to get lost in you. Like they want, you guys will get lost in each other. That was a fail. Now, look at this mosquito. I'm sorry about that, y'all. They got, a, like, a mosquito in here. Or, like, some type of... I ain't got no bugs in here now. <laughs> but, yeah. Slim. Somebody, something about slim or slim thick or. I'm also hearing something about slob. Mm -mm, nah. All right, slob. Blow job. I'm just telling you what's coming through here. Blow, maybe they gonna like to like, you know how you like blow on the back? Or oh, somebody gonna blow somebody back out? You know? <laughs> or like, like blowing like, and it, it like tingle on the back or something, or like that wind touching your skin. So maybe they might do stuff like that, or maybe a name or something gonna be here. BDSM, I don't know now. I don't think so. I would just see that here. So I just, I know some of y'all probably not into that, but I'm just saying that. Who knows? Again, y'all going to be trying new stuff. So y'all might try and maybe you may like it. Maybe you may not. You never know what you're going to be, what you're going to do. But yeah, that's all I have here for y'all. Y'all can try to get some things figured out. I know they got some words and stuff here. You can try to get something spelled out. Thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did, in fact, like the reading. That will be very much appreciated. Of course, you know, if this group didn't resonate, you're always welcome to pick a different group. Um, if you would like a private reading from me, my email is in the description. Um, and until next time, beautiful people, hopefully you come back for another one. Bye-bye.
So hello and welcome to everybody who selected group um group three. Um welcome to your reading. Um so if you you know if you're not 18 years and older, this definitely is not the video for you, so please click off now. Now I wouldn't want to trigger some of y'all. So if you have any history of like sexual abuse or like trauma or something, I may say some things that may be a bit triggering. So this is a warning. But you know, it may not be too bad because I cannot I can't say a lot on YouTube anyway. So I'm just giving you a warning if you know something makes you uncomfortable. I wouldn't want to make you uncomfortable. I you know, bring like un like reopen up wounds or something like that from the past. So I'm just giving you a little warning. Um yeah, so you guys picked the letter S. Hopefully this is the right way. I don't know if it's, yeah, I believe this is the right way. So, I mean, we're talking about like sexual type of stuff because this, so this can stand for sex or sexual, sensual, silly, sensations. Maybe this is the first, middle, or last name of somebody. Maybe you, maybe them. Maybe it's a certain word that needs your attention or maybe it's been that um, has your attention or been on your mind. It was just here to help you with your group selection, but some stuff is coming through here. And, and uh, the, the other group's ones matched up with their reading, so this definitely can as well. Wow. So, the wolf actually is coming out, like, immediately because I, I was going to pull a card for... Uh, to see what your partners, how they are in the bedroom, like the overall. And the wolf came out. So I think I'm going to take this wolf card since it came out. Um, when I went to Chef, it flipped right over. So they got the wolf energy for what they're... Their like essence in the bedroom. We're gonna cover this a little bit. We're not gonna spend too much time on it. So this is under Earth energy. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just go on to take the wolf. So what this card is for? What they're like, like their S energy overall. What they're like, just touching on it a little bit. Where are you, wolf? Okay. So we have the guardian of the family and tribe. Activism ritual. Now you can give it a pause and read it yourself if you would like to. Some of y'all probably had his dick. Um, the wolf's mission is to uphold the well-being and longevity of the pack. Of the pack. Um, healthy wolf energy expresses itself through activism, mentorship, humanitarian efforts, or teaching, religions, or political studies. The wolf gets into trouble when it assumes every minute member of the tribe must follow suit. This includes children walking in their parents' footsteps. Although it will surely be uncomfortable at first, practicing tolerance helps balance out the agitated wolf energy. Contemplate the following, embrace all, exclude none. When into balance, reliable, democratic, uh, fearless. When out of balance, judgmental, dominating. To bring into balance, practice letting go, okay? Okay, so maybe they like to take charge in the bedroom, or maybe they had an energy where they, like, they, they, they maybe they may lead in the bedroom, possibly. Um, so again, because the wolf is like the leader of the pack. They can be very dominating. When they when this person kiss like it's very deep like they kiss hard <laughs> I don't know like they be like they love to kiss and love to like suck on the lips and stuff like that but it's like deep like that some of y'all might be kissing this person be like God damn can I come up for breath you <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> they may like to include I don't know the wolf energy is giving me like they like to include tools in the bedroom. Like, they may like to use, like, to certain tools. So, maybe y'all might use stuff together. Is what's coming through here. Yeah, 
they may like to do ritual type of stuff before, so they may do this and that before y'all. They like to, they like to build stuff up before sex. You know what I mean? Um, so you, they might not like to just have quickies and stuff like that. It gotta always be, we are gonna do this first, this, and then we are gonna go have like we are gonna get it, get it on. So it might always be like this special occasion every time y'all go to do it. Like they like to do it that way. I don't know. That's something that I'm picking up on. That's what I'm kind of getting here. Steps taking steps. You know that can be why the S is here. I sure hope this the right way. Yeah, I think it is. So your homework maybe look up into the wolf energy. Maybe they might like to take shots off of you. I don't know. That's what I'm seeing with the S here. If this card don't stay up. Maybe they like to stand up. They would like to stand, do a lot of standing up. A lot of standing up type of sex. We have hydrate, number 27. Number 38, nourish your body. Number four, be still. We have goddess. Intensity. Guidance. The emperor. Interesting. Which is interesting because you got the wolf energy. Dominating. Charge. I'm a, I don't know. It's showing like a penis. So I got to flip this one over. But this is the empress. The emperor, I mean. So you can see that there. So you know I ain't lying. This goddess card is kind of like the empress too. So I don't know. We have the moon here. I've got to flip this one over too. But this is the moon. Wondering if you think about me as much as I think about you. We have, I want to make you feel good on the inside while I'm inside. Would you like that? Ooh. Whether they got the inside you, their hands, their tongue. We have Cancer, Saturn, Wisdom, interesting. And then we have the Phoenix. All right, so they, you know, they might be more experienced than you. Now, maybe some of y'all are experienced. Some of y'all, maybe you not, you've never done anything before, but they may be very much more experienced than you. They like to... We have structure here with Saturn. Then we have an S. We have Saturn in here, too. So they like to do stuff in a certain order as well, like leading up to sex things. Like, they don't just rent. You're not going to have quickies. Every time y'all do it, it's gonna, it's like you guys are going to be doing things before. Whether it be that be y'all having, like, some sort of date night or, like, I don't know. It's like some ritual, like they steps to get before you do it. Y'all gonna be doing stuff before you do it. It's not gonna be let's have sex, you know. It's not gonna be like that. I don't know. This one's coming through here. Now you know they may so they may be the one that's leading in the bedroom, especially the first couple of times. Like whoever the masculine energy is, because that's what it. They gonna be the one taking charge because. So you might start off just simply doing missionary position at first and, you know, until you, like, build up a certain, <sighs> comfortability, I don't know, like, until you, like, build up, until you get more comfortable or something like that, or until, you know... I don't know, for some of you, they're going to be teaching you stuff. Like, they teaching you how to do something. So, that could just be to you being inexperienced or them trying to be careful. Just simply because y'all had y'all going to have had a conversation, conversations about this before that. But I'm talking about, like, around the first time. That's what I'm picking up on. But then, over time, you're going to be doing a, a different stuff. Not be, because they will, you know, I feel like you guys are going to incorporate tools. 
you know, in the, whether you into that or not, you know, um, me, I'm seeing like for some of y'all, maybe a, it could be like a strap on or something. I'm, I'm just telling you what's coming through, like some type of, some type of dildo type of thing. You know what I mean? You know where I'm heading at, like a little thing that's shaped like, and you use that or like some type of vibrating type of thing. Maybe even some, maybe even like a cucumber or something like that. I don't know, or like some, maybe even this can be coming in the, in the form of like act like fruits. Maybe even like some type of drinks. Like pouring something on the other person and like sucking it off or something like that with the hydration coming through here. It's like you two, will, this will be, you, you guys will be nourishing to each other because it says nourish your temple. So they will nourish your temple. They will comfort your temple and vice versa. They will bring that nourishment to it. They will bring that tenderness to it. To you, it's going to be like this tenderness, this comforting sensation. So it's hydrating. Cancer is a water sign. So it's going to be hydrating. If you're a woman, this person is going to love to like suck on your breast. Yeah, they gonna like to do. They gonna like to like literally sit there and suck on your breast and spend a lot of time doing that and like popping them things. You know, with their mouth making them sounds and stuff like that. So that's what they gonna like that type of stuff. Why you just sit there and just taking the pleasure? I feel like they gonna really. They, what brings them pleasure is bringing you pleasure. So seeing you, you know, climax or whatever the case may be, is going to get them going. Now you gonna pleasure this person too, but I'm just saying like. For, for like, I feel like for the first couple of times or at least a majority of the time, they're going to want to make sure you get pleased first. And that's what I'm picking up on. That's why it says be still here. And then they're going to have times where you're going to be like, you sit there and let me do what I got to do to you. And they're going to be still and listen to you. So maybe you might have some times where they they, they going to be more dominant. You're going to be more dominant. But a majority of the time, they may be want to be more dominant. Maybe they, you know, would test things out. We have test response bones. Like this is gonna be you're gonna be shivering to your bones. Then we have gravity. I feel like for some of y'all, they're gonna wanna stand up and do something with you as well. Like maybe have you up against the wall. Maybe be jumping up with you. It depends on if that re how that resonates. I'm saying something here about something being on the edge of the bed as well. Or somebody standing up. Or like if you go to like whether you sucking something or eating something, they may be standing up. Maybe they may have one of their legs cocked up or something like that. And while you down there on them, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just telling you what's coming. If you see, you get what I'm saying. You sitting on the end of the bed, or they sitting on the end of the bed while you standing up. You got one leg up and they like down there, or they standing up and you just like sucking something or like I, it, if it makes sense. Okay, I gotta be careful because this YouTube. So that's when that intensity comes in when you start to add, when all that other stuff starts to be added in. We have guidance. It feels like this person, like the leader of the pack, they will have to guide you. For some of you, they may have to teach you something here with the Saturn coming through here. Or like nurture your way through it with cancer. Because you may be a little bit on the inexperienced side or vice versa. It depends on how you resonate with this. You may be a woman who is very, if you're a woman, maybe you very busty, or you curvy, or you got like a big butt, a big breast. Now, if you don't have any of those things, this could still be for you, but I'm just uh, picking that up. Or they're going to love the shape of your body, or even if you're a man as well, you know, um, you are goddess-like. You know, I'm seeing it here with the cancer coming through here, the goddess. You're very feminine. Then you had the moon. You have this goddess-like energy. They're gonna just adore bringing pleasure to your body because you're a temple. Your temple. You're the goddess. Your temple is. I don't know. It's something about the goddess. See, some of you maybe have big hips or something like that. For some of y'all, I mean, you don't have to have any of those things. That's just what I'm picking up on. Or like even having like sleeping with this person. Is going to change your the shape of your body as well. Sometimes they have that happen to some people. Like when they start to have sex again, or for the like begin, their body start to the shape start to change. 
I'm just telling you what's coming through here because this happened to somebody. <laughs> so that might be a, tr you might have a physical transformation. Or oh, hell, you know, for some of y'all, you know, this, you, maybe you might have like a children with this person. Like if you're a woman or if this person, a woman, whatever the case may be. But if you're a woman, like you may have kids with this individual and you watching for a man. So that may be what they're they going to transform your body because they're going to put a baby in it. Yeah, so it's like you guys will hydrate each other. So, you know, maybe you would like to swallow the other person's fluids. I'm just telling you what's coming through here again, right? Sucking, this can mean sucking, licking as well. But this is like transformation. Like, it's, it's going to be growth over time with this. It's kind of similar to another group. I'm not going to be saying which other group, but it's kind of like, over time, you're going to start to do more and more. But it's like in a, it's not the same message. It's in a different way. After they, after you have your initiation or something like that, or after that, it's like, it, you're, it's, it's going to change you. And then like, you're going to end up becoming this master or vice versa. Right? It's like they teaching you in a way. Even if you are experienced, it's like they teaching you even more. Because they want to make you feel good, right? You know, while they inside you, be that be, you know, they fingers, they thing, or they tongue or whatever again. So again, they guiding you. But once the ball gets going, it's going to become very intense. Let's see what else. Not really it. Once you get the ball, isn't that the same? Once you get the ball rolling, they may. If this a man, they may like if you like <laughs> suck on their balls. I'm just telling you what's coming through. Lord, I hope nobody I know watch this video. Well, I know y'all, but, you know, we have the Knight of Cups. See, it's like they want to bring you pleasure. It's like, I want to bring you pleasure. Like, they, like, put your fluids in this cup and let me drink them. I'm just telling you what's coming through. Okay. I be saying that I'm just telling you what's coming through here. But, yeah, that's, that's literally what's coming through Come on, Spirit, give me something. I'm reaching out to the six gods, okay? The will of fortune. Yeah, something here is going to change you. I feel like it's going to unlock something with you within you like that first time you guys do it and then it's going to it's going to unlock a part of you and unlock sensations in your body you never thought you had. We have the temperance here. Yeah, this can be including like fluids within hydration, taking shots, We have the king of wands. Yeah, because they, you know, they, they, whoever the masculine energy going to take charge there. But then over time, it'll become like a balance. Somebody will be one person. It's like they teach you. Then the, the, the then, then they're going to have one day you're going to be like, lay your ass down. Let me do it. Let me make you feel good for once. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? So then it'll become a balance. And baby, you're gonna know what you're doing. They're gonna be like, damn, you a wild one. We have the tower. So then I feel like you're gonna like to hear the, the sound of their pleasure. Like when they moaning and groaning and stuff like that. That the fact that you got them making them sounds, that's gonna get you going as well. Like that's gonna turn you on even more. The fact that they get that's getting you going. You're gonna see what they mean about bringing you pleasure brings me pleasure. You're gonna be like, well, damn, this bringing me pleasure. I can see what you mean. Now that I'm bringing you pleasure. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it'll be start to be equal give and take. Yeah, it'll start to be bad. And look, the Queen of Wands. See that feminine energy gonna end up becoming 
a, the, a dominant person as well, becoming equal. Then you have the lovers at the bottom of the deck here. And they naked. They're on the level, of course. Yeah, then... See what I mean? Yep. I just love when stuff synchronized. Because if we look at it again, you had the emperor. I said that God is called his empress. Is is basically the empress, I believe. So, let's get some additional info. This may be loud. It's probably loud, but you know, I apologize about that, y'all. So let's see what we got. Bald. So, you know, somebody could be bald headed, or maybe, you know, they you like to keep the private area bald, somebody, or almost bald, not too much hair down there. We have socially awkward. So maybe for some of y'all, maybe you, maybe them, it depends on who the more inexperienced one. I feel like it's the feminine that is. It doesn't mean that you're a woman, it just means that, you know, you have the feminine energy. Or the masculine energy. That doesn't mean you're a man. It just means you have more of the masculine energy, okay? Are you the masculine and the connection? But the, it might, maybe it might be awkward. Or maybe some of you guys might be a bit shy. Um, or just not comfortable showing off yourself or something like that. We have motivational. So they'll have to, like, motivate you and let you know that it's okay to show that I'll look, I love every part of you. We have motherly. So yeah, so they'll be like motherly as well, teaching you. Like making you feel comfortable because you had that cancer energy. But also then you had the fall. It's like they're going to be dominant, but they're not going to be aggressive or overbearing in a way or trying like taking control. 777. We have two-story home. So maybe you guys might, you know, Maybe the first time you, you have sex, it may be in a two-story home, or you guys will have a two-story home together. We have can become attached to you. So, yeah, this will make you two very much attached to each other. We have the number 33 here. This is a master number. Now, again, with the master, like this person has master energy, like the leader type of energy in a bedroom. Or somebody can be 33 years old. Three plus three is six. We have curvy. Didn't I just say, you know, somebody can be curvy? You know, or maybe for some of you, some, sometimes if you're dealing with a man or you're a man, maybe you have a curved penis or they may have like, it may be a curved a little bit. I'm just telling you what's coming through here. That can be. We have spiritual. So, yeah, somebody, they can, this can be that type of union. Okay. Which is interesting because they they have problems with these cards, but they naked on here. So, I don't know. <laughs> and I you the lovers come out a lot. We have loves cocktails. Didn't I say something about drinks? So, maybe, you know, cocktails can be important. Or just that's confirming, like, drinking something off each other. We have up for the challenge. So, but, you know, some of you guys might be a little bit shy or something like that. I feel awkward. But this is a, you guys are up for the challenge. The science. Some of you are going to be so pleased and vice versa that you're going to be like, I need to understand the science behind this shit. Like, why does this feel so good, <laughs> you know? <laughs> or like, maybe they might, you might look up some science-based type of things when it comes to, like, sexual pleasure. I don't know. We have entertaining. Yeah, it'll be very entertaining for you. Emotional. Some of you, maybe you might cry that first time because... It, one, it can be your first time. It may hurt a little bit. Maybe it's just like you've never felt like that before. So it's emotional. I've never, or like maybe you've been with people, 
before and you never actually had an orgasm or it was never good or you never had like this good of a sex life and so it may make you cry you know what I mean you know I don't know that's something that I'm picking on we have soul union confirmation with that continuing yeah some <laughs> now I'm hearing sometimes they might make you like go and vice versa you may do this to them as well and then they might try to keep going you might be like you gotta stop this because you're gonna be so sensitive or this can be like y'all gonna continue be you're gonna be keep doing it all night or all day or something we have happiness yeah i feel like you'll be genuinely happy with this person genuinely 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 not generally but genuinely <laughs> Um, we have rock. I'm hearing I'm hard as a rock. Maybe rock music. Maybe you're my rock. This person will rock your world. You're my end. Oh, you're my end and my beginning. You're my end, my middle, and my beginning. Yeah, the tiger. I feel like this is their energy, their essence. So look into the wolf and the tiger. Go to some search engine and look into it. Um, What is this? Building. Building up. Unforgettable. This will be unforgettable. Because they're going to make their mark on you. They're going to leave a mark. Like, I mean, if a tiger scratches you or a wolf, they're gonna, they leave marks, right? So they're going to leave. Maybe there might be some scratching. We have Aries coming through here. So maybe Aries is important. Maybe somebody can be an Aries. All the dates, March 21st through April 20th, can be important. Let's see what we have here. It's going to be good vibes. A vibrator. We have brown eyes. Somebody can have brown eyes. Sexy speaking voice. I feel like for some of you, somebody can speak like multiple languages. What's in here? Beautiful. Absolutely. That's what I'm sensing. I knew I saw something here. Beautiful. They'll think you're... Absolutely beautiful. I feel like here with sexy speaking voice coming through here. Um, somebody, maybe somebody speaks more than one language or they know different, a different language or something like that. Maybe you two as well or whatever the case may be. Or just if you know one, they may like your accent or something. Like they, maybe you may want them to speak a different language in your ear. They may get you going or something. I don't know. It's something here about a different language. you like, I don't know what you're saying, but it sounds beautiful. <laughs> it sounds good. It turns you on. <sighs> okay, this group got a lot of sixes. So six, six, six is important. Don't be scared of that. It's just a number of synchronicity, okay? Or uh, maybe it can be like fix your thought patterns when it comes to your body and stuff like that. Because maybe some of y'all a little bit on the insecure side. Or you have issues with your body image. But, you know, this person going to love you. They're going to love you for sure. But you ain't got nothing to worry about with that. You ain't got, no, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You ain't, you ain't got nothing to worry about for real, though. All right. <laughs> um... I'm hearing I want you to dance on that. Dance, dance on that D. Hey, dance on it. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. Or uh, grinding on that P. Grinding, grinding on that P. Grinding on that pussy. Let me stop playing. For real. <laughs> uh, something here about like a watermelon or something like that. I'm not sure why I'm saying something with a watermelon. 
is juicy so you know something about being juicy in the zone like you're gonna be zoned out when you when you're doing that you're gonna be in that moment it's gonna be unforgettable right own there's gonna be that sense of ownership ownership if only I have the ownership oh, no because that still wouldn't be right because it's own ship I would need an e and a P but it's, it's here wish like a wish come true your, your sex life would be very rich A apple. Let me open you up. They gonna like to like if you have a vagina, they're gonna love to like put their fingers in it and like like watch when you climax and like watch the stuff like ooze out. I'm just telling you what's coming through here, okay? Again. They're going to like to watch it. They're going to be looking down and looking up at you like, I want to see it, it at the exact moment when it, when it start coming out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Blow. Ring. Ring. Commitment. Commit. Some of you, maybe you will have a son with this person in line, line. You probably can see other words. I'm not really trying to spell nothing out, really. But, uh, man. Are oh, they going to want to see a shootout if they, like, jacking something? Live. In the mo You'll be in that moment, like I said. Max, Max, home, horny, <laughs> you know, that can be coming through here, will, will please you. So, you know, that's all I have for everybody. But horn, again, horn. Blow it, toot your horn. Let me toot your horn. I don't know. Um, that's all I have for everyone who selected group three. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did, in fact, like the reading. That would be very much appreciated. Of course, you know, if this group did not resonate, you're always welcome to pick a different group. That's fine, too. Or you just want to hear another sexual message, you can go ahead and pick another one. If you like a private reading for me, uh, my email is in the description. And until next time, beautiful people, peace.